What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today we're talking about some of my favorite menu bar applications for the Mac operating system. You know that bar across the top of your screen? Those little icon doodads? Today we're talking about the doodads. tip before we get started, you can actually hold down the command key and click and drag any item in your menu bar to organize it any way you want. I'm super OCD and I didn't know that until recently and so it finally satisfied me in a way that I cannot describe to you. Speaking of organization, the first awesome menu bar app that I have on my list is called Bartender. Bartender is all about organization and satisfying my OCD by tucking away some of the superfluous kind of menu bar apps and icons into like a separate storage area. It has one icon that represents it. When you tap on it, it just opens up all the rest of your menu bar apps. It is a paid application, but I think it's worth it because again, I'm kind of OCD. The next item on my list is called Alfred and it's kind of like your own personal assistant on on your desktop. It allows you to just press a hotkey and then it opens up a kind of input field where you can type anything from an application that you have or some sort of keyword or file name. It's like Spotlight on steroids. It's way better and it just works really, really good. I use it constantly. I never actually click on an application to open it. I always just, you know, press my hotkey and let Alfred open it for me. The next item on the list is called Be Focused and I use the pro version of this one. I think it was like a buck or two in the Mac app store, super worth it because it's my Pomodoro timer. It allows me to create a list of items that I need to accomplish, set my timer for it, press go, and I watch it click down in the corner up there and it alerts me when my timer is out. It even gives me a break timer so I can set it to five or 10 minutes or whatever I wanna do. That's it, be focused. The next item on my list is one that's super crucial for me as a remote designer and it's called Clocker. Uh, wonder what it does? Yeah, it's basically a clock, but this clock shows multiple time zones at once. I can program as many as I want and have them sitting up there. When are they at lunch versus when I'm at lunch? When do they start versus when I start? When can we kind of meet up? When is a team meeting? It all makes so much sense just to see it right there in the menu bar, clocker. Speaking of scheduling, Itzy Cal is a nice little calendar widget that sits right up there in your menu bar. You can click it and it drops down a calendar widget so you can see the month and the day and you can even see your calendar item for that day and that week. It's free, so that's super awesome, and it does exactly what it needs to. It allows you to look at your calendar, add a little something to your calendar if you need to, and that's it, just like in one click at a glance. It's eCal. Flux is all about neutralizing the blue light from your screen. It'll actually dim it down to a tungsten, kind of yellow, ugly kind of screen, which is not great if you're doing design work, but if you're answering emails or just browsing the web or needing to do some other admin stuff, Flux is great because blue light will keep you awake for hours if you are just staring and zoned out on kind of a blue light screen. The next menu bar application is really, really helpful if I'm trying to move fast and kind of arrange different screens all over my desktop. Magnet is amazing for doing that. It's just really, really easy. I've been using it a lot lately. It just becomes really intuitive to kind of take three things on your screen and bam, 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 you just push them into the right spots. Magnet, I think this one was actually paid, but again, super worth it. Next menu bar application on the list is called Pixel Snapper. Pixel Snapper is a new one to me. I just started using it, but really, really digging it. It allows me to just kind of like hit that hotkey or touch that little icon in my menu bar and drag over anything on the web or in an application that I'm using and it's going to I don't know how it does it, some sort of dark kind of like development magic, but it just snaps around the elements you were like kind of selecting and it gives you the measurements. So I really like how that button looks in context of that photo, kind of you know snap around the button. Here's the dimensions of it. Here's exactly how big it is in pixels. And now I can kind of reference those numbers and get some context as I'm doing my design over here. Okay, next one on the list is an absolute mandatory if you are a designer and this one's called Color Snapper. And I have Color Snapper 2, which is like the second version of it. It's really, really good. And it just allows you to hit a really quick hockey and gives you a global color picker that you can pick no matter where you are, whether you're on your desktop or native software or in the browser or design software software and you just click that color and it's copied it to your clipboard and it stores it up there in your little color snapper panel if you want to go back and kind of access it later. Just, it's again, it's paid, it's a few bucks, totally worth it, color snapper. 
two. 10 on the list is actually my most used menu bar application and it's kind of crazy because it's all about putting emojis into anything that you do. If you have Rocket installed, you literally just type a colon and start typing and it will find the emoji you're looking for. It's stupid that it's worth it, but it's absolutely worth it. You do have to pay for it, but if you love emoji like I love emoji because sometimes an emoji says a thousand words. If you have any comments about the apps that I mentioned in this video or you have some menu bar apps that you love that I might like, make sure to leave those down in the comments and check the description for all the links of the apps that I mentioned today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and quick tips like this one, so maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and finding all of those small things that make a big difference in your day. I'll see you in the next one.